First, a final goodbye to a fallen officer. Today, hundreds of people celebrated the life of Sergeant Maxwell Dorley. We must not be afraid of death, but we must all be afraid of an unlived life. When death visits us, we will, we will never be ready. So it is wise that we live our lives in purpose, in our calling. Hi, Daddy. Look at all these people celebrating your life right now. I know you're shining down from heaven upon us today. So it was an emotional day for family, friends, and fellow officers as they all paid tribute to the Providence Police Sergeant at his funeral mass. The 41-year-old died in the line of duty last week after crashing his cruiser into a utility pole. Iowa to Sioux reporter Sean Daly joins us now with more live outside the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence. A popular Providence police officer whose life was cut short by tragedy was honored today here at the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence. The brightness of the day belied the darkness of the moment. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,500 police officers from throughout New England gathered in Providence today to say farewell and thank you to one of their own, Providence Police Sergeant Maxwell Dorley. Are you thinking in some ways, there but for the grace of God, go I? Every night you go home, you think, you think that. Um, every night that we go out in the street, things could happen. In an eloquent eulogy inside the majestic cathedral, a friend focused on Max Dorley's sense of purpose. As we all know, Max liked to counsel. In fact, some who have received his lectures may have, been, may have preferred to be arrested if he would just stop talking. <laughs> Outside afterwards, with the mournful sounds of bagpipers wafting through the crisp spring air, family and friends broke down. Providence's police chief broadcast Sergeant Dorley's honorary last call, and with lights and sirens, a police cruiser answered the call. It was a powerful send-off, a reminder that for police officers here and everywhere, there's no such thing as a routine call. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.